Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to look at uh, basically all my cycling stuff. Okay, so uh, basically what, what kit do I wear uh, for cycling? So we're just gonna have a look. So we've got this nice uh, jersey then we've got uh, this one, which you've seen on the channel. That's always a good one. And we've got an old uh, Castelli vest with a windstopper front and a nice stretchy material on the back. Uh, we've got another jersey, but this time, this one is kind of like for mild weather. It's got like a furry inside. Another uh, jersey there, pretty see-through. Another jersey, which is always a cool one, that nice green one, yeah. And, uh, oh look, another jersey, yeah, there. Oh look, another jersey. Slightly different uh, material, this one. Bib tights, three sets of, uh, uh, what are they, Aero Race 4 bibs, I think. Uh, Grey, blue, and black. Two uh, thermal vests. So we've got the old graffiti one and we've got a mesh one for when it's super hot in the summer. Right. Thermo suit, Castelli thermo suit. Um, it's the only top I've got with long sleeves. I don't like long sleeves. I just prefer to wear uh, a short sleeve jersey and arm warmers. The thermo suit there, it's got the um, super warm legs for the winter. I wear that occasionally. It doesn't really get cold enough to wear a thermo suit a lot of the time over here. Um, we have some Nanoflex Pro uh, 2 bib tights with the reflective front there. Uh, we've got a old, really old Castelli uh, thermal t-shirt. Quite a modern turtleneck Castelli long sleeve thermal. So more recently I've been riding with the Nanoflex 2 bib tights, the long sleeve thermal underneath a short sleeve jersey with thermal arms. So that is the range of clothes. There, not there. That's uh, my Island Games team Guernsey from Bermuda. Ooh. Um, so yeah, nice range of clothes there. And now we'll head into the other section. Okay, so we're in the drawer, uh, chamois cream. Um, it did used to come in pots like that, but it comes in a tube now. Uh, so we've got some spares, we've got some Castelli toe thingies, some fluorescent ones, or sorry, not fluorescent, they are just a uh, day, day glow. And we've got some black ones. We've got an assortment of socks. These are defeat, uh, long, long cuff socks, short cuff socks. I've got some Yolio socks there, some absolute black socks, uh, more defeat ones, uh, some Castelli long socks. And we've got a Castelli short sleeve gloves, a short sleeve? I mean, short finger gloves there, Rosso Corsa. We've got a, um, this is a rain jacket in a case from a pair of glasses, I think. Um, I think the Castelli equivalent is the Idro jacket, but I bought the Gore-Tex one before Castelli brought theirs out. So um, best rain jacket ever, ever, ever created in the history of the world, ever. Um, just ever, okay? If you don't have one, the Castelli Idro or the, um, it's the Gore-Tex. I can't even remember the name. I'll have to get it out in two seconds. So it's the Gore Bikeware. It's like that material. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, uh, breathable, completely breathable. It just packs up really small. It's really light. Uh, if you haven't got one, get one. Because that is just the best thing I've ever worn. Ever. So that's all packed back up. Um, I've got some... Uh, these are just uh, cleat bolts. Um, some Castelli winter gloves, really good. Um, another pack of the same gloves because uh, one of them's quite old and I've got a few holes in, but they still work. Uh, some Castelli lightness gloves. You've probably seen them on the channel. Uh, Thermoflex knee warmer, Thermoflex leg warmer, Thermoflex arm warmer. Big fan of the Thermoflex. Um, some graffiti arm warmers with the old uh, nice plush uh, lining. The old grip grab uh, overshoes. 
really good, really good. Very impressed with them because uh, they do up from the bottom, not from the top. So there's no zips or anything, which is really cool. Um, a Castelli hat, which I never wear. I'm not a great fan of caps, really. I don't even know why I've got it. These are the coolest things, right? The new uh, Castelli shaped ha uh, caps. Yeah, they're cut um, to cover your ears. They're really cool, really cool. If you haven't got one, get one, brilliant. And for when it cools down, I've got a headband of the same uh, design, cut round your ears, really cool. When it gets warmer, I've got a summer cap, a white one. Um, I've got a black and white summer headband and I've got some summer Castelli arm skins, they just material, there's, they're no warmers, they just uh, stop my arms getting burnt. Oh, another thing not by Castelli, a gore windstopper balaclava. And I actually had to cut a hole in the mouth because I couldn't breathe through those little holes. Trying to breathe through those little holes is like trying to go around with a, a bit of cling film over your mouth. And in the bottom drawer, I've got my high five energy gels, my caffeine ones, and some old school Castelli winter gloves. These are actually really warm. I just wear them walking around, to be fair. And I've got two pairs of the neoprene uh, ones, some nice day glow yellow. I've got some black ones too. And I've also got some hydration tabs, um, which I actually forgot were in there. They're probably well out of date by now. And we're finishing up with the bunts. The Bunt Riot Road um, with the yellow cleats. Green footbed, best shoes ever for me anyway, because they're really wide and you can mold them in the oven. So that's all my cycling stuff. Um, I've got far too much uh, Castelli gear, um, but I do like it, it's good for me. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and We'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care, bye.